Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to our family. So today you're going to be seeing my version of caught on blue casserole with a side of broccoli and carrots. And for my broccoli and carrots, I just put some minced garlic in there with a little salt and pepper. And I don't use olive oil too much, y'all. Of course, I have my country crock butter. <laughs> now, this right here is a little heavy cream and a little milk, which is going to be for my sauce that I'm going to have for my caught on blue casserole. Back here... We have some um, chicken tenders that I sliced, opened, and pounded them a little bit. And I only seasoned them with this right here. It's an Italian um, seasoning, and I put that on the top of it. Um, for my sauce, I'm going to use Italian, the Italian mix for the cheese. And I'm going to top it with some Swiss cheese. I'm also going to use some black forest ham. I'm going to use some Smithfield bacon. These are my potatoes, guys, because we're also going to use potatoes in this dish. And this is the flour back here. I'm going to do pretty basic in this. I'm just going to use some crushed black pepper I'm going to put in this sauce. And I'm also going to put some salt in this. And basically, that's going to be about it for this recipe. Now, I will add an add of my Tony Saturn because I, I just love my Tony's. Y'all love the flavor that it gets. So basically, this is the beginning of something that's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's been a minute. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I've been away. I've been having to deal with some personal issues with everything going on. First I was sick and then that winter storm came and everything along with it just turned my world upside down and I just was in a funk and I couldn't do it. Like I just, I just couldn't do it. I was in a funk y'all. But I'm back. And I really want to thank me, Shelly B. She checked on me almost every day. She was calling me or texting me trying to see, you know, what was going on. And y'all, it was hard. It was a hard week for that um, winter storm. It really was. And then dealing with the consequences of everything that happened for the winter storm, it just was, I'd rather deal with a hurricane. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's not for me. <laughs> But I also want to thank our kindred life, Miss Geneva girl, you rock, you a blessing, and like, I'm not going to get into details because some people don't like for you to talk about certain things, but I do thank you and appreciate you for everything, everything, okay girl, everything, because I still was at the point to where... I was like, I'm just, I'm not ready to get in front of that camera. I'm like, you know. But when you see people actually care and they're actually reaching out to you, trying to see how you're doing, then you're like, okay, you're not in this alone. You do have a family. And, like, family check up on you. And y'all were checking up on me. Y'all was making sure your girl was good. Well, I'm back. And today, sorry for talking so much, y'all. I made my version of a cordon blue casserole. And what I did was, I didn't have no chicken breast. The store is out of chicken breast still. Like, we still don't have a lot of things in the store by me. So, <laughs> they did have the chicken tenders. So, what I did was, I filleted the chicken tenders. I pounded them a little bit. And then I put this, like, Italian seasoning on the top of them. And then I cooked them in some butter in the oven. I put them at the bottom of the pan. I boiled some potatoes. And after I boiled those potatoes... I made this sauce, and the sauce is with um, Swiss cheese and Italian mix and um, flour, milk, heavy cream, salt and pepper, and Tony saturated, if I'm not mistaken. And I made that sauce, and I usually put the sauce on the top 
this time I was like, I'm going to put this sauce in the inside of my mashed potatoes. So when I mash my potatoes up, y'all, I put a little salt and pepper, threw some butter in there, and I put that sauce in the inside. Oh, when I tell you it was hitting, I was like, okay, that's what's up. So I had my layer of my chicken, and then I had my layer of my black forest ham, and then I had my layer of my mashed potatoes with my sauce, and then on the top, I have some bacon. And that is my cordon bleu casserole. And it is delicious. Let me see. Let me see if I get it to where y'all can see a piece. Okay. I don't know if I can see this piece. You can see the chicken, the ham, the mashed potatoes, and a little bacon on the top. If y'all have never tried this before, y'all have to do y'all a cordon bleu casserole. It is real good. It is delicious. I don't know how my lighting is today, so I don't know if y'all can actually see it. But I hope y'all can. It is real good. And for my broccoli and my carrots... I just got some minced garlic, some salt and pepper, and some butter. <laughs> Y'all not go the unhealthy route. I mixed it up, put some foil on it, do it in the oven. This is delicious. Y'all really got to try it. So, how has everyone been out there in YouTube world? I'm behind so much on everything. I apologize, y'all. I really, I had, I had so much going on. Too, too much. And for the week of the storm, from Monday to, I forgot how long it was, but my phone wouldn't even let me call out. I could only communicate on my phone through email or text. Like for Katrina. For Katrina, if you didn't have a chirp phone, you wasn't getting in touch with nobody. <laughs> but I can deal with the no lights. It's the cold and then the no water. Y'all, Daddy Ron went to Lowe's because we ran out of firewood. Because we went two and a half days with no lights. And the water upstairs, the pipe had froze in my bathroom. The pipe had froze. And we ran out of firewood. Daddy Ron went to Lowe's. He went and got some uh, two by fours, cut it up, and made some firewood. <laughs> we blocked off that little area in the house. The only thing I could say was not a problem is food. <laughs> food was the only thing that wasn't a problem. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way to eat. <laughs> we had. We boiled some stuff in the backyard. One. The first day. We um. I had made roast potatoes and carrots the day before. So. We didn't have no way to warm it. So I'm like, mm-mm. I got turkey bags. Y'all, I put them ro I put that roast in the turkey bag. Tied a little thing around it. Put them potato. I mean put them carrots and all. Dipped it in that water. Let it cook like let it, you know, warm up like that. Warm dip, warm in them. I mean warm meal. Then for breakfast, no, that night I made popcorn. In the fire. I'm <laughs> in the fireplace. My son wanted noodles. Made noodles in the fireplace. <laughs> and then the next day. I was like okay. We got to figure out. A different way to where like. To keep the kids with some warm food. So I was like. I used to cater y'all. I'm a jack of all trades. I done done it all. I done done it all almost. I done. I didn't have my own clothing store. 
I was a caterer. Like, all this while still in the medical field. So, like, I, your girl could get it done. So, I'm like, okay, I still have some of my little party things or whatever. I pull that out. That's how we was keeping our food warm. I was cooking in that end, um, keeping food warm, and I wasn't playing. We had warm food the whole time. Then, we had, um... I had some of that soup I had in the freezer. So we was eating soup. We played so many board games. Like good thing my family play a lot of games. And we have a lot of things that don't require electricity. is a good thing. So we was playing games the whole time. And... Them, them, them little portable DVD players. We would. We have this battery thing. It's not a generator. But it's something that you can. You can charge your car with it. You can run your little. Um, what do you call it? RV thing on it or whatever. So that's how we kept the DVD players charged. We used the laptops to look at movies on. Y'all I keep DVDs. <laughs> so. We had something to entertain us for at night. It's just, it was so cold, y'all. I had on five and six pairs of clothes, and I was still cold. <laughs> like, I don't know, this is ridiculous. It was the, the warmest it was for us. This may sound crazy, but it was at night was the warmest. Because at night, the kids wasn't walking around as much. And... The living room where we blocked off, we just kept wood in the fireplace. I couldn't sleep because I'm one of them. I have anxiety when it comes to my children, so I couldn't sleep because I didn't want the wood to burn out and then my kids be freezing, you know. So I couldn't sleep. I'm constantly running like Felicia, go to sleep, and I'm like, okay, I'm sleep. I'm I was asleep. <laughs> we put. We had air mattresses downstairs. So everybody slept downstairs on the air mattress. It, I, I don't think things were back to normal until probably Friday or Saturday. If I'm not mistaken, Friday or Saturday, things were, and then things still went back to normal because we're, we're dealing with all kind of other issues now that you know we're dealing with the aftermath of everything still so and we still don't have they don't have well we have water in the house now but some people still don't have um water like some of the neighbors still they they're not their houses aren't livable still and for us, like when we moved out here, we decided we were going to rent for our first couple of years out here before we buy in Texas. Like we owned our home in Louisiana, but we don't own out here. We're renting. So the landlord tells us, well, we're going to go. He, he went up on the rent. So I'm like. Are you serious? <laughs> now, from how he tell me, his tenants was that lived here before us. We done do so much stuff to this house, y'all. Like, good stuff to this house. Real good. When we live somewhere, we want to be comfortable. So, I'm like... So, his first, his first excuse was that... taxes went up so I was like okay so I have a my realtor so I called the realtor and if we were gonna buy we if like within the time frame that we would have to give a notice because you have to give 30 days notice and our lease is up next month so we would have had to give a notice by March 1st we had to put a notice in whether we're gonna stay or whether we're gonna leave and so like 
this is push for the realtor. So the realtor have to like, so we couldn't find anything that was close around for us that would fit us because there's certain things that I want. So we couldn't find anything. So I'm like, man. And, I, and so the realtor wrote him a letter saying that, you know, we wanted to stay or whatever. And would he keep it at that rate? Y'all, his response <laughs> was they have so many people looking for houses and places to live right now. We're lucky that's all he's going up on. This has just been so stressful for me. So, so stressful. This is so good. But it's just been real stressful. So I haven't been able to. I haven't been myself. I haven't like. It's just been. One thing after another. Just smacking us. Bam, bam, bam. And it's just. If I'm not right. I'm not going to get on here and act like I'm right. And come to you guys. I have to get right for myself. Before I'm comfortable enough to come on here. Y'all, I was so stressed out. But. So. Long story short. We couldn't find nowhere to go. <laughs> Today is Friday. The 26th or 27th. Couldn't find nowhere to go. So we have to let him know by the first. So we're just going to have to pay the extra money and renew the lease for one year. And we're just going to have to buy after that year because we can't like, we can't find nowhere to go. Everywhere, nobody have nowhere to go. So like people are overcharging people for things. And, it's, and like what tripped me out is he actually said it. Like... You take pride in what you're doing? Like, really? But, he sees all. He sees all. So, I'm just thankful and blessed that my family is safe. And, we still have a place to live. It can always be to where the house was messed up and we didn't have nowhere to lay our heads at all. But he had, he's going to have to, he's going to have to deal with it. Not us. And Geneva, this meal. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so very much. The next one is going to be sponsored by my mom. And my mom got us, well, she got me um, a gift card to, oh man, I don't know why I'm always giving me gift cards. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> But, that may be my next video. I don't know. I have, y'all, I, I had packed stuff. I had packed my stuff up. <laughs> I was so aggravated. Because, like, if something happens, they, when Ronald had to go back to work, we still wasn't straight here. Luckily, my mom lives close by, but people was driving crazy. I wasn't about to get on that road. Ronald made sure we had everything we needed before he left back for work. <laughs> I was not going out there. Y'all, the funny thing is, wasn't that funny? It was so beautiful. Like, it was cold, but at night, 
this was my first time actually looking outside at night when it snowed. I had never did it. But I just, I was so miserable and cold to her. My mom had texted me and she was like, it's snowing again. And I'm like, oh my God. So it was like 10 something at night. And I go look out the window and it looked like it's daytime. <laughs> I was like, what's this about? And I was like, mom, why it look like the sun out? <laughs> what's going on? And then she told me, you know, the reflection or something like that she was explaining to me. But this is real, real pretty. But I am back, y'all. I might have to buy. I don't know what. I, I really was packing, y'all. I got to find my. I want to do some challenges. But I don't know what my challenge wigs at. They packed somewhere. Yeah, I, I was serious, y'all. Hey. What you gonna do? You you can't sit down and just wait for something to happen. When somebody tell you something, you have to start preparing yourself for the worst. <laughs> so I wanna thank you guys so much for thinking about me, for reaching out to me. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And I promise y'all I am back. I'm no longer sick and I'm ready to record and I'm just ready to join my family again so with that being said i'll see y'all tomorrow mm -hmm. bye bye